Yes guys, welcome, Championship Manager 0102, part 2 of the Fantasy Customised Database. To cut a long story short, there's 69 of us, all that participate in a separate game away from CM uh, to do with predicting um, top flight football matches, and I've just chucked everybody into um, the editor and to see where we all end up. If you look at part 1, uh, you'll see the basis of what the idea of the game is. So we are at the start of Season 2. Season 2, now, I've done updates, as you probably all gathered on uh, the Facebook group, that we've all sort of gone on to, got contracts, got teams, and some of us have moved on to um, second teams. We're, already at the st we're at the start of the second season. Just to remind you, I'm using the latest update here on CM. So, um all the renaming side of things is all there. So we've all obviously turned 17 years of age. Uh, let's start then. Let's go in order of positions. Let's start then with Michael Clarkson, who opted to be a Cameroonian international. He has broken to them under 21 um, side of things. And he's not looking too bad. He's playing his, uh, tra his player has tried in France. He hasn't played any senior games yet, Michael Clarkson. But um, long, long way to go. Ashley, Ashley, also the goalkeeper. Cardiff City didn't play any games last season. Uh, he's got a little bit of work to do. Padraig, now Padraig got the move he wanted, which was to Italy, uh, Juventus, and um, he's got he's amongst one of the highest valued um, players in the game. Didn't play last season, but he has got a contract for another three more years yet. G. John, Don, John Davies, um, the Welsh. Goalkeeping. Let's see. He, Nottingham Forest didn't play any games. This is always going to happen. You see, a lot of a lot of us are not going to get any games. But let me just remind you all: we all started with 100 potential. Uh, sorry, 100 current ability with the potential to reach between anywhere between 175 and 200. Let me remind you: 200 is a hot, is a, the bollocks. So um, that's the objective. Justin, Justin is at Sampdoria, hasn't played any... Now, do you know what? I spotted this another player. He was at Sampdoria, but it don't actually say the uh, 21 slash 22. And I don't really understand why, but he was at Sampdoria last season and he didn't break in. So he is, um, he's still at... Is it because he signed a new contract? No, he didn't sign a new contract, let's see. So, Justin, similar sort of story. Pepe Page. Pepe is at the Saints. Uh, same sort of thing. He had a couple of uh, non-league, non-league, uh, non-competitive games last season, as you can see, which I I can't really uh, track. I can't really track um, that that quickly without having to go to the history. Uh, on to Thomas Tunnicliffe, the final goalkeeper, Crystal Palace. Similar sort of story for him. Okay, let's go into right backs now. This guy is a fucking legend. Look at the heading on this guy. I'm not gonna. I know what's gonna happen. Yeah, you, there are a few of you are gonna say I'm a cheating bastard, or you, fuck yourself. Yeah, don't hate the game, but I will point something out. I'm not. I've not got the best heading attribute. Um, so I didn't play at all last season for Spurs, but um, I, although I'd rather it not be heading as my strongest attribute, in all honesty. But we are getting there. Uh, what we what we I'm saying me two and a half million pounds. Next right back then, uh, Kevin Gilmartin. Burnley, uh, well there you go, Kevin is an example that he moved to Lamel first season and although he didn't play, he's now made it to the English League top flight. Burnley, I don't think Burnley are out there top flight, no, still in the Premier League. £180,000 then for Kevin and he will try it there. Mar uh, Paul Ogden, Paul Ogden is at Preston North End, uh, having started at Notts County. Two games, now Notts County were in the, uh, they're in a playable league, so he had two proper games. Preston North End, he's in the Championship. Good luck, Paul Ogden there. Mark Brown, Mark Brown. His figures are looking quite the bollocks, actually, to be fair. And Mark Brown actually had a good selection of games, albeit his average rating wasn't brilliant. Ten games. Uh, that is uh, ten in total. So if I click on that, you'll see that they were all actually substitutes. Uh, but I have the uh, combined appearances, just a patch that I use on the overall history. But nevertheless, ten substitute appearances is pretty good for Mark Brown. Left back, John Chambers, uh, who wanted... I, I didn't actually ask him this, i just done this. I know he'd rather be Italian than English. Fucking Judas. Um, so, Johnny... Johnny? He had one game last season, as you can see. Got a seven in it, uh, and he's not looking too bad. He's got pace. A um, little bit of work to do, though, but, you know, like the rest of us, he's still only 17. 
the name, uh, the guy whose name escapes me, um, and we agreed, or he agreed, Panos would be his alias, uh, the Greek Wonder Kid. Um, now the problem about his move is is in Romania, so it's not a playable league. So it's I don't know. I mean personally, right? If I saw, I mean he's had two games last season as substitute, six and a seven, I assume. Um, and it's not a playable league, so it's hard to get a real reading on just how good he is. But nevertheless, on to Carl Rhodes now. Carl Rhodes, a left-back, looks the bollocks. Uh, he's in Belgium, uh, 11 games last season, which I think, in all fairness, 11 games is, is pretty decent, and an average of 7 0 for Carl Rhodes. Uh, well done there. Shane Wright, Shane Wright, I did pick up on something yesterday, look at his tackling, tackling 22, so as you probably gathered, I've got the um, 20 is normally the capped attribute on this game, but I've got a little patch that uncaps it, and I like that, because otherwise it wouldn't have spotted here, so tackling 22, determination's good, but um, the problem with Shane is very familiar, he's playing in Saudi Arabia, he would go where the fucking money is, wouldn't he? Um, so he needs to get a move to England, really, because he's not going to get any game time and he's not going to develop. So sort yourself out, Shane. Mark Bonney. Mark Bonney looks good. Influence, agility. Uh, Fleetwood and Mark Bonney, although he didn't play last season, is developing very, very nicely. Uh, Wayne Chester, Yeovil Town. Uh, half a dozen, half a, eight games, seven starts last season. So um, he's developing. A little bit of work to do there, though, Wayne. Uh, on to Shane, Shane Cousins. Shane Cousins looks the bollocks, to be fair. Uh, and he's in Turkey. Again, similar sort of scenario. He needs to get into one of those main leagues to get some proper game time. But, I mean, he, he looks the bollocks. I mean, look at that. Decisions, determination, positioning, marking, tackling. You know, I didn't really look just, just how fucking well he, he looks. So, um, yeah, he's on his way there. Luke Langley. Luke Langley looks a complete shower of shit. Uh, playing in the National League North, uh, South, uh, Luke Langley had nine games, six starts last season. But, you know, if he's getting games, competitive games, he can develop. Pete Rudd, Pete Rudd. Now, Pete, you've been waiting for this, haven't you? Pete Rudd was at Scunthorpe last season. That's, incidentally, my wife's hometown. 24 games, 16 starts, and he got his move to Leicester City, the top flight um, for Pete Rudd. And he looks good. Don't look as good as, as uh, the last one we just looked at, Shane, but looks good. Ily Stevkov. Ily Stevkov has broken into the Macedonian under-21 setup. Um, still applying his trade in uh, France. Let's see, did he, get any, did he get any games last season? Philippe. Now, Philippe spent the whole of last season without a club. See, now that makes sense for that to say 22-23. It didn't make sense on Justin, but he didn't get a club until um, the turn of January. So, Philippe. Um, is in Portugal, so he's in a playable league, which is good news. On to the next page then, Adam Rowland, uh, playing in France, hasn't had the, hasn't developed quite as well as some of them, had one game, or yeah, had one game. Jay Geneva, Getafe, defensive midfield left back, um, he started at Barrow, Jay, we had this conversation, didn't we? Barrow, you have three starts, two subs, and I think you probably would have, a, would have had a release clause, you are now in Spain, Getafe looking good, um, Jay. Chris Henson, Vancouver. Now, why the fuck would you move to Vancouver? 16 games in total, 16 starts. At, in, no, Gloucester, actually, yeah, they're, they're lower than the National League, League North and South. So they, they probably weren't competitive. See what I mean? 7 7 5 he did, but it weren't in a playable league. So I can't really take that gospel. But nevertheless, he's now playing at Vancouver, uh, um, Chris Henson. Ross Horn. Ross Horn looks fucking good. He's got some good attributes there. Defensive midfielder. He's another one that made a second move. Started out at Hartlepool and has, has moved to Atlanta United out of the playable league. So, we need to sort that out. Paul Roberts, Hull City. Uh, no games last season, Paul. On to Mark Rupers. Uh, Mark, Mark Rupers? Why the fuck have I got Rupers? Right, well, you know that's Mark Rupers. Sorry, Mark. I fucking made a complete fuck up there. I thought I'd altered that. But Mark Rupers... Um, doesn't look too, too bad at all, Mark. Looking good. This next one, Matt Tierney. Now, I knew Matt Tierney was, was looking good. Um, I think Shane's really overtaken him overall. But uh, Matt Tierney looking good indeed. Darlington are not in any playable league. They weren't. So, again, can't take that last season real gospel. But if it is, just look how well he did. 
Um, on to Dave, good old Dave, playing in France with Dijon uh, and got himself one appearance last season. Um, Dave's got a little bit of work. The creativity, 18 for a defensive midfielder. Very, very interesting. Mark Whitaker, he looks good. Mark Whitaker is looking fucking the bollocks, but he started out at Dulwich and he is now playing at Union in Belgium. So, good luck, Mark. Looking good. Tim Edwards, who was happy to be in any position, so in the order, in the interest of trying to get a bit of a balance, I went with the midfield right. Not the greatest position in the world, but I tell you what, he's looking good, isn't he? And he, yeah, he signed with Mark Whitaker, funnily enough, at Dulwich. And he is looking good. He really is looking good. And as you can see there, three starts, nine more subs, even, even registered an assist. Matty Price, Matty Price, uh, midfield right, started at Hull. Uh, half a dozen games or so, mostly subs. Made a move to Preston North End, Matty Price. Into page four, Tobias um, has broken into the Sweden under-21 setup, And as you can see, he's still at Napoli, although no games. Roxy Brown, another player, uh, she was happy to go to whatever position. So she went onto left midfield. And Roxy hasn't really done much um, in terms of uh, developing-wise. But one star, 11 subs. So she's getting a bit of game time. Brian Lacey. Brian Lacey, um, again, it says 21-22. I think he's in, um, oh, he's in Spain. Okay. He's not in a playable league. Normally, that's not a playable league. You can tell it's not a playable league by it's in bowling and division. So, um, he's in he's in non-league of Spain, Brian. Baz Chambers, Stoke City. Uh, like in real life, looks a shower of shit. Uh, started not scouting, County, made the move to, to um, Stoke City. So... Good luck, Baz. Jeff Cowell. Jeff Cowell. Um, he's looking good. He's one of those that's really stepping up, Jeff. And um, although not playing for West Ham last season, looking very, very promising. Michael Humphreys, a.k.a. Mick, looks good. Um, got his move into France. Uh, last season didn't play, obviously. And we we'll go back to that. Mick is looking good for a centre midfielder. Daz Jones. Now, Daz Jones, look at that creativity. 23 um, ironic that he ended up going to Swansea, given the fact that he's Welsh. And although he didn't play, um, you know, I think there's a big future for Daz with that creativity, definitely. Rob Lloyd. Rob Lloyd has not developed whatsoever. Um, so he's just hoping for a little bit of luck as he continues at Wrexham. John Pickett. John Pickett's developed a little bit. Getting there slowly and surely. Uh, second move for John from Darlington. And that was non-playable to QPR. So good luck, John. And Matt, uh, Mikul, Matt, you are at, you took a, Matt took a while to get his move actually, um, and he's in Bellary, it's unplayable, so we'll see, hopefully Matt will get another shot. Stu Murta, Stu Murta uh, started at Rotherham, had a, a hat full of games last season, Stu, and um, still needs to really do some work this season. Morton, Morton is playing in Belgium. Uh, you notice I have to quickly check here because I don't always know where they are. That's why I'm doing that. Um, but Morton could develop. He could do it. John McGrath. John McGrath is also at Union. Now, who else? He's looking good, John McGrath. Who else did we say was at Union? Did we say somebody else was at Union as well? Mark Whitaker. Don't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mark Whitaker and John McGrath are together. Facebook buddies. Okay, Michael Page. Uh, dribbling 21, as you can just see that there. Looking good, a very good high value as well. Had one game uh, in the top flight, one start in the Premier League. Jamie Baxter, the Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, so he didn't play last season, but he was at Wolves last season. So uh, Jamie's looking good, he's got that determination. Uh, on to Ashton Clare, he was one of these that was happy to be placed wherever I needed a position. And um, didn't play last season, so I think he'll get some more game time. Matt King. Uh, for an attacking midfielder, look at that finishing, it's lethal. Um, and as you can see, Morecambe last season, playable league obviously, uh, three starts, ten subs. So, well done, Matt King. Sam Wheatley, the Malaysian, uh, playing in the United States, is not getting any proper game time, but you never know. Daniel Young, Norwich City, um, didn't play last season, Daniel, but he's getting there slowly and surely. Eben, now we said that Eben went to Tunisia, um, and it's just about... Uh, developing, even wants his move back to one of the main leagues. Daniel Osborne, Daniel Osborne doesn't look like he's developing at all. Uh, he's playing in Leon, he's got a good higher auto value. 
Uh, page six, Derek or Des Robertson. Looking good at Hull City. Had a hatful of games last season. Four starts, 16 subs. Um, four goals as well. So I didn't actually spot that before. And he's broke into the um, Scottish under-21 setup, as you can see. Chris Thomas at ASC Wimbledon. Uh, hatful of games last season. Still needs a little bit of work, though. Trevor Choi, Sheffield United. Um, took, took a while getting a, a move, uh, it'd be fair to say. I think it, I think it worked until uh, January in the season that he got his move. So he'll hopefully catch up. William Anderson at Getafe. Uh, William got his move to Getafe, but it's not really done much. Now, who else did we say? Yeah, so, so William is there with Jay Geneva at Getafe, interestingly. And it's a good league to play in, definitely. Adam Bush. Adam Bush is looking very good indeed. Uh, Adam Bush got his move to Roma. And whilst he didn't play, he did have 13 games uh, in the reserves for Roma. Now, they would theoretically count in terms of competitiveness. So that 6.77 is genuine. Um, so credit where it's due to Adam Bush. Something else I actually missed on. Dan Hanshaw joined my local team, Peterborough United. And uh, I'm surprised Peterborough haven't sold you already, Dan. But uh, 20 games in the reserves for them last season. A um, little bit of work to do there, Dan. Steve Hall. Steve Hall has made a second move. He's left Plymouth after a very impressive first season. I think it would be fair to say 6.95 is a very good rating for someone of such a young age. 29 starts, 9 subs, 9 goals. He gets his move to none. Um, Steve Hall is looking good. So he needs to do a little bit of developing. Uh, Andy Lowe, he's in a non-playable league, um, having left Chesterfield. Um, so he's, on, he's moved to um, Montreal. Get your ass back into one of the main countries, please, Andy. Liam McShane, he started out, and we all started, if you may recall, he was the highest valued player. He's not broken at all at Norwich. Um, but he, his value is actually down to £2.1 million. Lee Sylvester, decisions are still there, Lee. Um, the rest of you needs needs to be building up. You need to get into that gym, Lee. I think that's what it is. Um, didn't break, hasn't broken at Derby. And look at that non-competitive rating, 6.05. Lee, you are a disgrace. Uh, and Derby, well, actually, Derby start with a big point deduction, like in real life, and they fucking survived. So they're still in the championship. Uh, that's your presence there, Lee. That's probably, you know, your influence. Okay, Philip Stewart. Philip Stewart looks good. He got a dream move to Rangers. Um, a move to Rangers that only Jane Baxter can envy. Um, and he actually had, as you can see, two substitute games. Um, so, Philip Stewart is on his way. Last page now. I'm going to save the best till last. Um... First of all, let's start with George Wills. George Wills at Notts County. They're non -play Oh, they are playable, sorry. Um, a good hatful of games with George Wills. Probably the most... He started the most games out of everybody last season. I think I thought it was Steve Hall. But George Wills started 30 games last season. Um, let me just check. Yeah, so they were in a playable league. Um, so credit where it's due, but still needs a little bit of work. Ian Williams, he, had, he is the best header in the game, just ahead of me. Um, I think there's a lot of potential here. Determination is there. Finishing is, is getting there. Uh, off the ball, I mean, they're into double figures, which is important. Strength. But um, he is worth £2.6 million. And whilst he didn't break in last season, you know, he had a hat full of games. Now, the last one then. Peter. Peter, um, I don't know how your surname is pronounced, Peter. But we'll just call you Trina. Trina. Look at the fucking state of that. Uh, broke into the Australian squad, which I think was always going to be an easier feat to do than someone breaking into the England squad. But just, I mean, he's the highest value player on six grand a week. Uh, six grand a week, twat. On uh, six million pounds. Uh, valued at six million on a wage of 15. And he's still got three years on his contract. And look at that. We said about, uh, was it Michael Page? We said about him having a senior start in the Premier League last season. It was the same with Peter. He had one start and two subs. So if we're going to say it, so they're in the Premier League. Our player of the season really has to be... Uh, well, see, I'll be, to be honest with you, right? If we're going to do a player of the season, I'd be inclined not to say it's Peter. Developing-wise, yes. I'd be inclined to say it's between George Wills... I'd say it'd be, quite, it'd be between George Wills and Steve Hall, who had a real good um, hatful of starts. 
but Peter looks the bollocks. Um, he thinks he can learn a lot from Mitrovic. Um, so yeah, looking very, very good. Um, let's take a look now then at, uh, so in terms of, uh, so, so there you can see, you can see a host of players have all got release clauses. Oh right, okay. So I was looking at why I didn't have a team for Carl, but it's because it uh, can't fit in. So a lot, a lot of players, sorry, have got uh, release clauses, and that's all those guys up there. So for those of you that don't know what CM is, I'm sure a lot of you do. So let's take Mark Bonney. If somebody bids a 1.1 million pounds, it will activate the clause, and Mark Bonney will possibly leave if he agrees personal terms. Let's talk on the subject of personal terms. I think I pointed this out. Matty Price, he's got a release clause of 4.2 million pounds. Four, I think I pointed this out, but 14 grand a week. Matty Price, 17 years of age, you greedy, greedy bastard. Um, you're a fucking disgrace, Matty. Absolute fucking disgrace. Um, and in terms of um, who's, you know, so what we've got, we've got Illy and Dave still playing together. Oh, let's go back a page. Uh, Thomas Tunnicliffe and Ian Williams, both at Crystal Palace. It's always nice to see two players together. Dijon, uh, Getafe, we pointed that out, didn't we? Leicester City, Michael Page and Pete Rudd. So Pete Rudd's joined Michael Page. See how they get on together. Uh, watch a short so Pete Rudd. Uh, Norwich City, Daniel Young and Liam McShane are together. Preston Paul and Matty Price. Matty Price, of course, that greedy fuck. Um, what else we got? Uh, nothing. No. Oh, yeah, two at Union. We pointed it out. Two at West Ham. So Jeff Cowell... So Jeff Cowell and uh, Peter West Ham. So let's um, yeah, I think Morton. Morton. That's it. Because his name's so long, um, it didn't fit in. Not Morton is there as well. Let's have a look. The lowest value player is Luke Langley. Luke, you're a disgrace. Thirty-five grand, and you feel you've been treated unfairly, Luke. So clearly you've been fucking probably going out and getting pissed. Um, the lowest valued wage is Luke Langley again. So Luke Langley is the lowest value player, the lowest paid player. Um, I hope you get your move, Luke. I really, really do. Uh, the second lowest value player is Tim Edwards, as you can see, 40 grand. Although Tim Edwards looks really good, I feel. It's just that position. Uh, with this being the update, if a team can play that sort of setup uh, and they buy Tim, it can make all, all the difference. Um, so just to recap on a few things really, uh, this is just the, using the update of CM, uh, we've just finished the World Cup, so um, it, it really is a case of players winning awards, uh, what we could do actually, thinking about it, I'm not going to go through this, I'll save this one for uh, another day, so let's take Peter, let's have a look at, um, what can I go to, profile, oh no, maybe I can't, I thought I could go to something, I've got a history of the player and what you know, awards he's won and shit like that, but clearly I can't. So I'd have to look at all the awards, wouldn't I? Right, okay. Okay, no worries. We'll leave it at that and I'll work out some more shit to do. So that is that then. That is part one done. We're at the start of season two. You can see the date in the corner. It's the 10th of um, July. So the transfer window is still open until the end of August. Now, Paul Roberts is wanted... Swansea City are tracking Paul Roberts, so um, you never know, Paul Roberts uh, might get the move, Hull City did get relegated it looks like, so he ain't going to maybe not want that, but you never know, a lot can happen between now and the end of August, so what I'll do guys is I'm going to holiday a couple of months and I'll keep you all updated with any big money moves, but um, I probably need to log them all don't I, I need to keep track of them to remember where everyone's moved. I don't know. Right, till next time guys, it's Take It Easy from me, and if you want anything to do it on CMO 102 for the benefit of what I say on my normal YouTube, do give me a shout. Till next time, see you later.